I had announced that in here um, that I was going to do this, and it's really, I mean, it's really not not a not a you not a huge um, not a huge deal to do this, right? The uh, the the reason that um, obviously nobody would ever do this is because this is the this is the money maker for everyone uh, in their uh, in the game, right? These were items that I guarded. Uh, a lot of them, uh, the insignias, you guys know this, I guarded these for years because I was making a ton of money with them. Um, and uh, most people that rely on trading as uh, their their main kind of, um, you know, uh, ISK generation would, would not, uh, obviously never, never release this stuff. I also don't think that I'm destroying too many markets with this because these are just 10 items and EVE is full of items and everyone's items are, are different. And yes, I got a lot of messages about, oh, that one item I had as well or that other one. But uh, in the end, I mean, you know, it, it also, it's this is hindsight. Um, this is hindsight 2020, literally, right? Um, and uh, this, this is going to be different for, um, for this year, right? And plus, for me, it's not a big risk because I already do all the trading on stream. So you guys all knew that I was trading in these items. So anyone that wants to know what items I trade in can look this up. So for me, um, you know, it's I'm, I'm not going to act like uh, this this hurt or anything, right? This this was total fun. That's why I put uh, in that little um, uh, please read box that I'm sure nobody read. Um, I put in there that the there's two reasons I do this. One, to show people which items could be profitable. And two... Um, entertainment <laughs> right uh obviously i'm also advertising uh, i am definitely guilty of advertising my stream but if i didn't i'd be i'd be stupid right so um obviously that's that's what we're what, what, what we're looking for what what i i want to do uh, quickly before we jump into uh, station trading today um uh, in the game is um, just take a few minutes to talk about um the items on here why they're on there um, uh, specifically, and maybe that will give you a, a little bit of a, a, a background or an introduction, depending on wh what stage you're in in the trading life cycle, um, uh, and, and help you with with your own trades. Uh, let me just um, make sure I don't miss anything in chat. Um, Mocha, I'm exactly right. This is not a big surprise when you follow my streams. I think it's a surprise for most people that don't follow the stream, and that's most of Reddit. <laughs> um yeah i'm a terrible ponzi scheme because my returns aren't high enough that's absolutely right <laughs> um can you actually build the stormbringer um so when i was trading it this was uh in the in the very beginning when it came out um obviously as you can see by the by the profit margin um by now i mean there must be a um uh, uh there must be a um uh, a blueprint out there in the in the LP store in the um, in the Edencom LP store, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I don't I don't build them, so I don't know. Uh, but I don't think so. Uh, I also haven't traded them recently, so <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll I'll explain in a second what happened there. Um, but yeah, Gila's were a huge profitable item. Uh, it's just the Stormbringers were so incredible that that they uh, they took a spot in the top ten. Typically, you don't expect ships to be in the top ten traded items um, at all. <laughs> Because ships um, and more of the larger items, they 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 tend to be um, uh, lower margin because the people are producing them, uh, unless you're talking about the the, the praxis or or the gnosis or something, um, and um, uh, you will you will have to trade huge volumes uh, for this uh, for for the profits to rack up. So um, it's it's possible as you can see here, but you have to get kind of lucky. Um, yeah, they are consumed less. Um, but let's let's start on the top left here. So this is this is literally I, I added up all the profits uh, in my spreadsheets um, and uh, looked at what the what the top ten were. Right, no magic there. Uh, um, nothing, nothing really. All 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 that all that difficult to do. Montari, uh, guten Tag to you as well. Um, so we have uh, Imperial Navy and, uh, Navy General Insignias one and two um those are two of the the highest volume insignias out there and that's the only way they can be out there uh, you have to uh 
Um, if you're trading in insignias and if you want to do large scale insignia trading, then you have to go to Adam for Eve and look at the volume chart, um, as I've shown many times here on stream, um, uh, and, and look at what is the highest volume uh, traded uh, in that category. Not if you're investing small amounts of money, but if you're investing large amounts of money, then you actually absolutely have to do that. Otherwise, you're you're running the risk of just wasting your time because the market isn't big enough. Right? Um, so those um, those are items that are, um, you know, I think we talked about it uh, on, on Saturday during the stream as well. They are uh, traded in for items like, uh, what was it? The Republic fleet shield extenders, that sort of stuff. Um, and um, yeah, they they actually I'm going to have to log into the game for this. After 18 minutes already. Um, they went through a, both of them went through a huge slump and then recovered. And that's how they became so profitable because I I've been trading them for um, uh, for over 10 years. Um, and so to me, it was clear that they were going to recover because I had uh, 10 years of market data on them. Uh, and they uh, they are an item like like most of those insignias. They have um, quite clear lows and highs, um, and they just fluctuate back and forth ba based on faction warfare um, um, uh, gains on of one one faction or the other. Um, but let me show you in game actually. um montari the aeon fund um if you go to the discord right here um you can uh, you can click uh, on there and go to the faq channel and everything is in there they you can buy in a minimum of, of five shares and the buy-in is always on the first of every, every month um so let me close this so um imperial general insignias um You can see here, this is what I mean by pretty clear uh, lows and highs, right? Um, uh, you know you can buy this uh, at around 2 million. If it dips below 2 million, it's uh, it's buy, um, uh, buy territory. And, um, you know, it. The, 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 the recent rally only went to about 2.5 million, but the last two went to 3 million. And so if you just keep doing that um, two or three times a year with large quantities, and these are... These are billions a day traded, right? So there isn't really a, um, uh, the, the only limit you have is, um, you know, um, I don't know, uh, trading. You, you're gonna be able to trade maybe uh, if you only update your orders once a day, um, you'll you'll still be able to, 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 to trade like half a million a day easy, uh, half a billion a day easy. Um, so and the cycles are are slow, so it's very easy to buy them uh, when they are low and sell them when they are high, and so this um, is one of those items that um, uh, that uh, that is is just a, a re very really good uh, good good trade item. Um, Uh, do you actually save all the market data over 10 years or is it more based on experience because you've uh, traded in them for so long? No, unfortunately, I don't have my market data traded, my, my, all my historic data uh, saved. Uh, I only have um, a year or two. Um, those insignias have a constant usage, right? So unless CCP changes something a lot, then it's uh, not pr predictable as much. You can predict anything. Yeah, um, the usage is in, in LP stores. Um, right. Um, so the, these these uh, are traded in in LP stores. So, for example, um, um, you know, as I said, uh, if you uh, if you go to Fuzzworks CLP store calculator, for example, uh, I was talking about the Republic fleet. Uh, let's see, medium field extender, for example. Let's go find that store. Um, then these are all these are all items here that that those are are used for right here and the uh, the ones in green are uh, at quite favorable um, ISK uh, per LP rates. Uh, you have to look at volume, but I'm not going to explain this this entire tool right now. But um, you know there are uh, quite a few items that use these as trade-ins. So what people do is if they have collected a lot of LP, 
then they need to buy these insignias or acquire them in some way um, to be able to trade the LP in for um, for the uh, for the items. So uh, as long as anyone wants those items, and these aren't like crazy items, you know, this like a Republic fleet, fleet large shield extender, you know, it's it's going to be useful. Um, uh, or unless people you know have no way of gaining LP or they change the entire LP store reward system then there's always going to be a usage a use for these in game yes um, so that's the the ones and the twos are a little bit different um, uh, they even though they are traded in for the same thing they took a little bit of a different turn um, and uh, they went through an extreme slump where uh, you were able to buy these uh, very very cheaply and now they have uh, recovered a little bit and basically over three to four months and th this is the reason it ended up in my top 10 for three or four months all i did was just buy them all buy them all up because this is this was a ridiculously low price for for these and I knew that based on history, but to be fair, I, I I said that every week on the stream. I said buy them, buy them, buy them, and everyone watched me buy them. So I am guessing that quite a few people have built up stockpiles now. And the question is just, uh, are they are they going to sell right now, or are they going to hope for it to go any uh, up any uh, any more? And if you ask me, um, uh, I I am I have started liquidating. So um, you know I. It's it's possible they go higher, but um, it's kind of um, the rally has slowed to a crawl pretty much. So that's why I'm I'm selling. That's just some insights there. Um, uh, abyssal filaments. Um, abyssal filaments uh, are are good because we have a uh, um, uh, or let me start a different way. Uh, abyssal filaments have been fantastic trade items as a group. Right. Uh, ever since they were introduced, um, they are they are um, they are not only looted, but they are demanded, and they are demanded in in different um, uh, in different amounts. Uh, and they the demand changes based on different fits that people develop and different fads and uh, uh, and meta fits. Um, they also fluctuate with new content being introduced, new ships and new modules introduced. They they fluctuate with every buff and nerf they, there is in game, and then they f also fluctuate with other events going on that are keeping people from from running abyssal stuff. So, um, I love abyssal filaments probably as a category one of my favorite, and the raging gammas are just very very popular filaments. They are the the tier four shield filaments that people. Um, uh, use for example or used to even more but still use a lot with the with the gila and um so i've been just trading this all year and the reason it's it's in the top 10 is because um i'll show you is because um these fluctuations just um are quite wild and um you know we we've had uh we've had very very uh, extreme uh, um, rallies uh, throughout the year we've had sharp drops um, so what I just did was I just uh, traded these in very very high volume um, uh, um, all, all the time uh, and this is mostly just playing on short-term market fluctuations and um, if you if you're just entering this market and you want to kind of play it safe then you know you uh, you can you can look at uh, around the five to six uh, million range uh, as a range that where you can't really go all that that wrong you're not going to lose a lot of money if you're buying between five and six million because historically speaking these just have have had huge spikes of people um uh, you know farming or um, um or 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 practicing because the the gamma filaments are quite forgive forgiving because they double your shields uh, yes, they also double NPC shields, but um, typically um, people have a way of dealing with that. So that's that. Just you know, why raging gamma filaments are so are so so great. You can, I mean, right now you can look at uh, at exotics and electricals. They they all have had their um, they've they've all had had their their time in the sun this year. Um, and so uh, you know, 
with, with filaments you can basically just look at which ones are trading low buy those which ones are trading high sell those it's it's really not more complicated than that uh, nobody can predict exactly um, what's going to be the flavor of the month next month because that's going to depend on who will develop a fit so unless you're Torvald um, or maybe Fonsui is if, if he's still around then you know you're you are um, you're not going to be the one developing the fit or if you are then you better advertise it and buy all those filaments first because that's gonna that's what's gonna really gonna make you money in here um um why do you think plex crashed so hard recently uh casey banner how are you doing um so uh, uh it it crashed for for several reasons so plex crashed because one we had a plex sale going on we had the sale going on with um uh with M mct and three month omega um uh, so you have to uh, you have to understand that in terms of um people that that may be plexing their accounts instead um they will uh, now use the the sale to to subscribe so they don't need plex they're going to they're more likely to use real cash and that means less demand for plex uh, and plex going down that's one big part of that uh, uh, that solution. The second part of that is you have a big war going on. You have a lot of extreme situations where um, where people want to uh, fly expensive ships quickly. So uh, a lot of them are resorting to um, buying Plex to fund that, to um, uh, to to buy uh, skills, um, uh, you know, to buy expensive ships. Um, and so um, whenever you have, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, um, a, a credit card warrior coming in and spending a lot of money on Plex, then you have the supply of Plex going up. And so the um, uh, the the supply goes uh, goes up. So in that combination, you have uh, demand going down, supply going up, and then it's no surprise that the price crashed um, like that. Um, Amar seems to have recovered a bit after my shopping trip for filaments. <laughs> uh, for for trading or for for usage, Sidar. Um, but yeah, for for example, if we're talking filaments, um, uh, we in the last month we've talked about a lot about dark filaments um, and 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 darks um have had uh the the tier four ones uh, ever since you know uh the introdu introduction of the the martial room in 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 abyssals uh the raging darks have had a tough time they used to be super popular because of um a hawk fit and now um they've they have slumped but they seem to be making a pretty rapid recovery recovery right now um buy price at 800k it's been a long time since we've seen that so um these are these are nice um and the the chaotic darks the tier fives um they have uh, also been bouncing up and down violently so um that indicates um you know i don't think this is only traders uh, i think it's also uh, people um people trying out uh, lots of fits and um uh, and some new videos and new fits uh, coming out um for example uh low put low put or however he calls himself, he put out a a uh, a bomber slash hawk video, a nemesis hawk uh, video that is uh, quite um, difficult but also quite profitable. So that's also driving um, uh, dark filament uh, usage. Um, yeah. So that's uh, that is uh, filaments. drinking water today this is very unco uncharacteristic for me um ships um we have the the stormbringer so um the the stormbringer is um uh, the the only thing that happened there um and let's let's look at that in game as well it's probably easier to explain it there So you can see here um, 
it's uh, it's only been uh, in the game for six months right that's why we're only looking at uh, at six months of, uh, of of data um looking at um I don't know if I was trading it in the Aeon fund. Let's see here. Um, no, I wasn't. So what um, uh, what happened here is uh, they have... Um, uh, they they gained a lot of popularity, for example, in abyssals. Um, uh, electrical abyssals, I think, are they are quite popular um, and um, possibly in other parts of the game. And they um, just from from their initial release, they they dropped all the way down. And for a while, they were uh, they were trading quite cheaply. And um, I did nothing. The only thing I did is I saw um, I think it was Torvald. I saw him put out uh, a video or a fit. Um, there was two or three other people um, around Fonsui, I think, as well, and um, um, Lok Lokival. Um, I saw them uh, put out videos about the, the Stormbringer, and it seemed insane. And so I just bought out the entire stack <laughs> uh, and, um, and sat on them. Uh, and then I waited a little bit and I just, um, let's be honest, I just got uh, really lucky. I did not predict uh, such a steep increase right here because as you can see, uh, they went from under under 100 million, I think 80 or 90 uh, million I bought most of mine at. Um, I'm, I'm one of these, I'm one of these right here. Uh, and then I, I sold them, uh, you know, around around here. I didn't even sell them around here. So this could have easily been like 150% um, trade. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I, I sold them here and that's why my profit margin is around 75 million, 75% uh, uh, as it says on this on this graph right here. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, that's, that's a, a good example though um, of, um, oh yeah, you're right, Chikokin. Casey, Casey LP uh, was the... Um, was the guy that made the, the Stormbringer popular. Um, and so th th that, just, um, that just shows though that, especially in the Abyss, so much is driven by the, by the community, you know, by the front runners in the community. And so if you use tools like the Abyss Tracker to look at, you know, what's hot right now, um, it it does pay off to know what is going on in there and to kind of follow content creators and see um uh what what videos especially youtube videos in, in the abyss youtube videos um that um that are of good quality and that actually make sense that uh, are profitable um those typically they they spark a market rally and with the stormbringer i just hit the jackpot in this case um Let's look at let's look at salvage materials. Um, salvage materials overall are just um, uh, they they are a little bit surprising on here, um, probably because a lot of them uh, are in a real slump right now. So salvage materials have have lost a lot of their value um, over the past year. Um, but if we if we start at the top, um, let me see here uh, with the contaminated Lawrence fluid. um we um let me look at the 12 12 months right here um you can see that it did you lose a lot of value but then uh this is one of the um uh this is one of the most um most uh most traded items in the game and most recommended on my stream as well uh sorry i was i was reading techno's message there um Slump means investment opportunity, exactly. So um, you can see here, one of the things that I, I love about uh, trade items in uh, in EVE is uh, the clear bottom. Whenever I see something like this, you can see 100,000, 100, a price of 100,000 uh, is the price where, where, where people just uh, decide it's low enough and they start buying them all up. Um, and that includes me. Um, uh, I buy up uh, anything that hits around 100,000 and then typically I sell uh, between 130, 140,000. I did this year. Um, and if you just do that for a an extended period of time, 
um, then that profit just adds up because um, you know this this doesn't look like much but it's it's huge right so this is um, uh, if you if you just look at okay let's let's do this once once for this example if you um, if you go to uh, to Adam for Eve uh, and you have a look at um, trade volume by region and go into the forge and um, if we look at contaminated Lawrence fluid, you can see here that the trade volume is about 78 billion a day, right? This is a very, very big item. Um, and with that type of volume, uh, you're just always going to be able to buy and, uh, and sell it uh, whenever you need to. And mostly uh, because the buy and sell order distribution is also good, um, you can be at both ends of that, that market. So this, um, this is really, really, uh, really, really nice. Um, Techno has a good point. Um, so uh, these are, uh, if you look at what they're what they're used for, right? Uh, we see here uh, all of the salvage stuff is used for for rigs, right? But these are used in a lot of um, uh, structure rigs. Um, and with the demand of uh, with less structures in space, um, you know, also because of the quantum core introduction. Um, uh, there's less demand of course uh, but the question is how much of that is already priced in and how much uh, how much isn't right and uh, we've we've already seen the market crash quite significantly and um, the nice thing about this is that you don't need to hold huge volumes of it to profit from it uh, all you need to do um, is um, uh, take advantage of short-term fluctuations which you can see here happen you know every other week uh, on this item so it's it's still it's still a very very nice item uh, uh, for this for for trading, and yes, uh, PI did also take a, a a huge huge hit. Although, hey, we made we made some serious money this year on PI as well because um, a lot of the markets were overcorrected. A lot of the markets um, dropped uh, far, uh, dropped way too far, uh, and there was um, money being ha uh, being uh, made. Uh, you just have to make sure that you don't overextend on any single position uh, that uh, that you fear is at risk. So um, that's where diversification comes in. Right? Um, recursive computing modules, yeah, <laughs> that is what that is what happened to them. Uh, except they they're already they are already back down again. Um, logic circuits. Now this is a nice one. This is a this is a really really nice item, um, which has gone the the opposite way. We, um, you know, they they dropped down uh, to to almost 400k twice this year. Um, which, if you've been trading this for a while, you know that it's just it's time it's time to buy them, right? Um, and so there was two opportunities this year where you could make serious cash. So w w this rally right here. And then if it's it slumped back down again uh, and you know here kind of like the imperial navy general insignia twos you had three or four months to kind of build a stockpile up um and uh you know it's been on a rally uh, ever since if you look at uh, the usages for for the logic circuit um you can see that uh, this is uh, much more broadly uh used um in uh, uh in in rigs so not only structure rigs uh, some of the most uh, most popular uh, rigs uh, use logic circuits so um yeah um so another one of the top 10 most profitable items uh, next one is power circuit which right now is on a huge tear power circuit um power circuit um followed uh, very very similarly uh, to logic circuits so it's not a surprise that they're both on here um, again if we're talking about these these items um, as some of the most used uh, items in in game or most traded items logic circuits 49 billion a day uh, power circuit 24 billion a day so these are huge markets and that's why i love trading in them if you have a market of this size that fluctuates like it does here in the background and then on top of that you have a nice uh 
orange dot distribution in that gray channel, meaning buy and sell orders are being fulfilled, then uh, that's that's all you want out of this item. All you have to do is not buy right now. Uh, you buy down here because you clearly see um, where 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 the the highs and lows are. So just um, you know, with a little bit of uh, awareness of uh, where where these prices are. Uh, it's no surprise at all that also power circuits ended up in my top 10. Here comes a big one. Trigger units. Again, trigger units. Um, absolutely love this. Um, they, uh, for the for the most part of the year, they just fluctuated between 600 and 900k, uh, giving you a nice 50% margin. Um, and... Uh, they did this, you know, every couple of months or so. So you you actually have, um, um, you know, ample opportunity to capitalize on this market. But on top of that, we had even on stream three or four times this year the situation where the actual price difference between buy and sell orders was between 600 and 900k. Uh, I remembered two occasions at least where we talked about exactly that uh, on stream, and so this is not only a good buy and hold item um, uh, for the for the short to medium term but you can even day trade this uh, quite well and uh, and and make some good money if you're looking at right now the buy price is kind of high 690 uh, you want that to be more around 600 or 620 um, but the sell price you can see i've i've got sell orders up here at 804 um, which you know we have been we've been selling uh, quite quite regularly here um, if i look at Look at the the wallet on the Aeon Fund. You can see I've been selling I've been selling a shit ton of these. Um, oh, there's Leaknet again. Uh, sunscreen. I don't know if you're there. <laughs> um, it's always the same people, by the way. It's always the same people buying. Um, between 800 and a million, actually, uh, over the past five days. Uh, and then before then, you can see my buy price at the end of December, 638. 638 you know for for months and uh for a month oh this is just two days look, look at this 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 is probably this this goes on and on uh sunscreen yeah <laughs> what's up dude good to see you um and um so yeah, trigger units, man. Probably, pr probably uh, out of the um, out of the salvage goods, my my favorite. Uh, these are automatic. Uh, these are uh, alphabetically listed, by the way, not um, uh, not in order of uh, of profit. Um, and then, last but not least, drone parts. Um, so the top ten, uh, there's two of them in there. Drone capillary fluid is one of them. Uh, you can see I'm still buying this at 35 um, and um, you know this is this is obviously yes they had a huge crash um, because there's an oversupply in the market at the moment um, there's just uh, apparently too much ratting going on uh, among drones uh, and this uh, uh, this year um, ever since you know it dropped down to about 30 in July um, uh, this this huge drop and this recovery uh, meant that I uh, took a risk at, at starting to 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 buy this, um, and so my average buy price is somewhere in the 30s, and my average sell price is uh, is in the mid 40s. Um, and you can see how wide this channel is, uh, and that means that at at many kind of like the the trigger units that we just talked about at many points in time, um, it it drifts apart uh, quite quite heavily, and the reason is that. You don't have, um, you have, I think on a normal day, you have much more buy orders being fulfilled because there's a lot more, more volume being dropped to buy orders. And then every once in a while, manufacturers come in and buy very, very large amounts and massively drive up the, the sell price. Um, and so for these short period of times, you have massive gaps in there. Um, same as the trigger units and and that's how these these white channels happen happen so um you know it's 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 like things like this you know um 240,000 units a day when uh, when the average is 50,000 or something 
Um, so that, that causes massive price spikes. And so what you have to do is you have to have standing sell orders out there. That's the only way you're going to profit from uh, large manufacturers coming in and, and making huge orders. Um, because if you don't have those in there, then you're just going to be putting up yours and then you're going to watch the market drop back down again, back to the equilibrium. And you're going to, you're going to have to wait till the next person comes in and buys. So with these types of items, trigger units, drone capillary fluid, even if your sell orders might seem ridiculous at some point, uh, because they are far off the current sell price, you have to be aware of these major sellouts and you have to be there to capitalize from it. And the only way you could do that is if you have a standing sell order or whatever the amount is that you typically trade in this in this good. Um, the trigger units must be more valuable than the uh, ISK to you. Sunscreen? <laughs> yeah, yes. Just recently there was a buy opportunity in heavy missile launcher uh, in Jita. Okay. All right. Um, we are, uh, we just have one left. One top 10 item. Oh yeah. The, as you can see on the, on the right there, I say it's the highest trade volume item that I had last year. Uh, elite drone AI. Um, this is a, uh, uh, a very high volume item. Let's, uh, let's, let's check it out here again. Um, Elite Drone AI, 86 billion, uh, the daily trade volume. And um, <laughs> Techno, <laughs> I do talk about Elite Drone AI a lot. I do, I do. Uh, there are some uh, there. I talk about the Guardian as, a lot as well. And the Guardian is, is not, 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 not nearly as much traded as I talk about it. But with Elite Drone AI as well, um, and uh i mean this is just a beautiful picture i mean you know ignore the big drop of the cliff uh, that all drone parts uh, saw um you know this is all over the place traded a ton lots of sell orders fulfilled lots of buy orders fulfilled uh, you know yes the overall fluctuation isn't big and that's why um you know, you you kind of with Elite Drone AI, you you capitalize on these micro movements up and down. Um, you you want to buy somewhere close to 1.5, and then you want to sell as close to 2 million as possible. Um, but as long as you're uh, in there and you're getting your uh, you know 10, 15 percent of profit, and you trade a lot of it, um, then uh, then it's fun and uh, uh, and it obviously works out. It made my top 10, and all of these items um had uh, had uh, obviously many many billions in, in in profits after tax so you know a lot of all of these items you're possible uh, it's very possible to make billions after tax on on these which is obviously going to uh totally depend on um on your starting capital um how is 86 billion daily average volume is around 5 to 10 uh that'd be 8 to 16 daily oh yeah that's um it's possible that those stats are off um on on adam for eve um let me uh let me have a look uh, so 10 10 000, you'd have about 15 billion yeah you're right you're right you're, you're absolutely right um so careful with careful with with this uh, these numbers obviously um let me let me see though uh this is Let me make sure I don't uh, misrepresent Adam for Eve here. No, it says uh, daily daily trade volume. So um, uh, X Cron, you're absolutely right. Um, either way, uh, you know whether it's uh, fifty or or fifteen billion, it's a it's a very very large market and enough for it to be the highest uh, traded item in my portfolio last year. And um, uh, I've made over five trillion in uh, in in trades. So um, very very big item um i'll um, i'll let uh, ethan from uh, adam for eve know uh that that those numbers are off okay um so that's uh, that's the top 10 um 
again just put this out for uh mostly for uh for entertainment a little bit of advertising and as a place to start for new traders um and um yeah oh yeah on the elite drone ai do we have uh let's see here. do we have uh, uh the 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 talking points on here um i don't know if uh, if if techno is making fun of me because i always talk about these too much but um you know elite drone ai uh they uh they are uh, used for all the augmented drones and the excavator drones so um you know they they drive those markets uh, so the question um, um it's the the interesting thing is much more once you see a rally in uh in in elite drone ai um then you can have a lookout uh, to see that exact same price development in augmented drones and to an extent also in excavators and that uh, there is typically a lag in there so that is something that you can definitely capitalize on so always be aware of that if you look at if you look at any of these augmented drones um you know have a, have a look at this have a look at this um uh, this graph in the uh, in the background here elite drone ai um and then look at you know augmented hammerheads for example the copy of the graph right it's the exact same thing so uh the 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 cost uh, the cost proportion uh, of elite drone AI as an input for uh, augmented hammerheads is so high that it's just going to straight up drive that price um, with a little bit of lag. So uh, you can diversify um, uh, a little bit into those two, but be aware of, that they both um, will follow the same trends. And then uh, when you see Elite Drone AI, uh, then maybe try to jump into augmented drones that haven't risen in price yet. Maybe you can uh, get some quite cheaply um, and, uh, and capitalize uh, twice uh, based on that. Um, all right. <laughs> Leo has a, a, an English question. I, I'm not, I'm the worst person to answer that question. Um, so yeah, but that's uh, that's that's that is truly it now uh, on the on the top ten items.